Wait, when we're finished. Don't start talking. Don't start talking? Wait, wait. Wait. What? <laughs> what? What are you doing? Oh, we're unmuted. <laughs> oh, it's your right. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Wait, wait
Hi. Somebody has a question. Reading something off of Lexi's mom made us really young. Pumpkins? Lexi's mom pumpkins. made us pumpkin muffins. Do, do you guys have a question? Oh, okay. Wait, that's your water? Yes. yes. No, don't worry about the lab. I want you to, I mean, I want you to work on it, but I don't want you to, to do it. All right. Right. I don't want you to worry about that right now. We got the stoic test. All right, Julia, what's your question? Yes, we can. Okay. So. Yeah, we can't hear Julia. Hydrate. Can we go over hydrate? Yes. Yeah, please. Huh? All right. Yeah, hydrate. Hydrate. Yeah, hydrate. All right. So let's see. Like number four on the list. Mr. Warner. Hold on a second. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can. So we're doing, I want to do the practice on the, or one of the tests, there was a hydrate. Number four. Okay, great. Yeah, we want to go on two. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Four and the free response, the very last one. NA2. Was it this one, the CO3? Yeah. Um, okay. I had chocolate on my tits. Stop. No one cares. I'm sorry. I know. Okay. So, for this one, uh, it said that the, the question said it lost 54.3% Oops. of its mass. So, this right here is the H2O, right? Oh, I believe right. So that means that you would have 54.3 divided by the 18.02 because we turned the 15 I mean the 54.3, oops, we turned the 54.3 into grams. We assumed it was a 100 gram sample. Are you guys following that? Yeah. Okay. All right. And so basically, if you want to look at it like this, because this is the multiple choice, you basically can cancel out some of this. Like the, the, and you're left with about three moles, right? You guys can see that? Yeah. So then what mass was the sodium bicarbonate? And that was uh, whatever 100 minus 54.3 is. What is that? 65.7? Oops. Right, because that is. This is, man, I'm, this is not writing very well. 100 minus 54.3. So do you guys follow that? Wait, yeah. It's uh, 100 carbon. Okay. And then... So then you need to add up the sodium, oops, sorry, the two sodiums, the carbon, and the three oxygens. So I know this one's going to be 48, 3 times 60, 48. No, this one's going to be 12. And I take a look at my periodic table, and that's 22.99, which is like 23. So 23 times 2 is what, 46? Did someone say question? Yeah. Um, the, it's uh, 45.7, not 65.8. I don't think so. Oh, sorry. What did you say it was? 55.7? Oh, 45.7. Oh, 45. Okay, thank you. Thank you.
Okay, 45.7. All right, so these together, uh, see the t 2 makes that 50, 60, what is that, 106? Yeah. So 106. And so this is, um, that's greater than 2. It's 2 point something, right? Or it's not, not, not I'm sorry, I didn't mean 1 over, like it's 1 over... <laughs> Two point, what do you think? Two point two or something like that. Something along there. The the main thing is though, it's not one half. It's not half of uh, of uh, a half of a mole. Okay. It's larger than that. The reason that that becomes important, there's a great distinction. At this point, you can actually you can do a little bit of of guesstimating. If you guys want to come back to, if you look at the test, then. So we see that we have, let's pick some different colors here. Up here, we have three moles, and that's for the H2O. And then here we have one over like 2.2 .2 or something, something, something greater than two on the bottom, and that's for the sodium bicarbonate. Okay, the reason that that's important is that if we go back to the actual test, let's see if I can, I think it's this one right here. Okay, can you guys, okay, can you guys see this now? It's black. It's black. There we go. Okay. All right, so you can see your first thought might be to do this one because the water is is H2O. I mean, the, the water is three. But it has to be, in order to do that, it's got to be at least double, which means for one any 2 co 3 you would have to have at least six. So it's greater than this. So it, could, it definitely ends up being seven. That's the closest one. And 10 is way too much. Then do you multiply the three by the two point two? Sort of. You could, yes, absolutely. If you multiply them both by three. Question. Yes. We can't hear whoever else you're talking to and what they're saying, so that's why we're getting confused. Okay. So well, Nick, easy. Nick had said, "Did you? Would you multiply the three times the two point two? Um, which you could do that, but the main thing is you you know that you're just guesstimating." At that point, you know that seven is the most logical answer. It couldn't be ten, couldn't be five, and it couldn't be three. So it's a process of elimination. But that's the process that which which you go through. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So how do you then do the percent composition? It's just like the regular empirical formula. The percent composition. Um, let's see. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Nick Nick asked about percent composition. Um, you asked about 5S. 5S would be due Friday, yes. Okay, so back to the percent composition. Is that on the practice test or the unit test? Uh, let me find. Let me find the unit test real quick. Uh, okay. So here's the unit test. So, so the same one you said the last free response. Oh, okay. Oh, it looks like the same thing. Wow, I didn't realize those were on the same test. Okay, so can you guys see this problem right here? Yeah. So if you're doing percent composition, it's the same idea in that you have the mass of the whole thing right on the bottom. So they might say, if you're doing it of the whole thing, you have to find the mass of, of whatever part. Now this one, it's asking you for the waters, but it might ask you for how much oxygen and if it asks you how much oxygen, you need to add the three atoms of oxygen and the 10 oxygen atoms from the waters. 
But this one's pretty simple in that it just has 10 waters and it wants to know the, the, the percent composition. So you would take the mass of 10 waters and divide it by the total mass of the molecule. And that would give you the percent of the water. And then, oh, it does. It, it's going to ask you how many oxygen atoms. You have 10 oxygen atoms here. You have three oxygen atoms here. Um, so you find out how many moles there are of of the whole thing. You find the moles of this. So you take grams divided by the molar mass of the sodium bicarbonate with 10 waters. Once you have that, then you do the stoichiometry of, well, there are 13 moles of oxygen atoms for every one mole of the whole molecule. And then you, of course, have to multiply by the 6.02, 6.023, whatever, times 10 to the 23rd to get the actual number of atoms at that point. Mm -hmm. Nick, does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay. One other thing I want to recommend to you guys, would you guys, if you click on chat on the side, if you guys can click on chat, and then you can also sometimes post questions or you can talk to each other or talk about stuff like, put your questions here. Do you guys see the chat? Yeah. So sometimes like if I'm on, like sometimes if I'm on a different screen, I can't see what's going on, but you guys can, can talk to each other a little bit and, uh, and whatever, if you want to clarify or if you can't hear each other, you might say, did somebody ask a question? <laughs> All right. So Nick, did that answer your question about the percent composition? Yeah. Okay, good. What other... What other question could I have, or could I answer for you guys? Why? I think everyone got the combustion problem. There'll be another combustion problem on the test again, on the retake. I would have got it. Wait, the, which one was that? This one right here. Okay. I understand. I just have to. I have to me a little while to get. There'll be one very, very similar to that again. Um, a limiting reactant problem and percent yield. Um, oh, you know what I did want to mention? On the... on Okay, remember on this one right here, on number one on the test, where you had to write out the equation to get the right answer? Yeah. There'll be another one of those. When it talks about making something or producing something, you're going to need to write the reaction out. And so I may not give you the reaction, so you have to figure out the reaction from the information given in the problem. Okay? Okay. All right. There'll be another balancing. Uh, similar to number six, where you had to, to balance an equation and find the number of moles of something, find the coefficient, you'll have to do another one of those. Um, can, you, can you do number three on the multiple choice? Yes, yes, I can do that. 36.8% nitrogen by weight. And it's nitrogen oxide, okay. All right, so we'll go to the next page. All right, so so the question, if you guys didn't hear, somebody would like to see number um, three from the multiple choice section. Yes. The multiple choice. All right, so we have a... A nitrogen oxide, and we don't know how many nitrogens we have, we don't know how many oxygens we have, but we know that, was it was it 36.8? Yeah. And that was the nitrogen? 
Yeah. Okay, 36.8 nitrogen. So, again, we assume a 100 gram sample. So we take 36.8, and that's the grams. Number three on the multiple choice of the last unit test. And we divide it by 14.01 grams per mole. Wait, are you doing a screen thing? Oh, I'm so sorry. I am. Let me uh, screen share that. Okay, so why is the percentage on top? Why isn't it, on the, why isn't it the other way? Um, you always put, well, the, the percentage you're putting on top is really the mass. You're changing the percentage to grams. Oh, and so once you change to grams, then you can put the grams on top. And then you divide it by the molar mass because you want to know the number of moles. You want this to be the number of moles. Does that make sense? Okay. And so, again, you don't have a calculator. That 14.01 the 01 goes away. You figure, how many times does 14 go into 36? Well, if it goes in at least 2, so that's like the total. 14 times 2 equals 28. Okay, so at least 2, and 36 minus 28, or 37 minus 28 equals like 9. So you're getting 2 and like 9 14 moles. Okay. Now the rest of it is oxygen. So somebody help me with the math. What is 100 minus 36.8? 65, no, no, 64. 63.2, thank you. All right, so then for the oxygen, you have 63.2 grams divided by 16 grams per mole, right? And 16 can go into 63 almost, like, four times. almost four times. Good. So that's so about four. That's supposed to be about about four moles. So if we were going to write it out, we would have nitrogen would have two and nine fourteenths, and oxygen would have about four. So now I want to go back to my test and take a look at the options I have. Wait, didn't you have to divide it by the smallest number? Yeah. You absolutely can do that. Oh, you don't have to? Oh. Well, oops. Uh, so what, what if you did it that way? So let, let's say we, if you wanted to, so that'd be four divided by two and nine fourteenths. Um, that one kind of intimidates me. I'm not sure what I would make that. Let's say that would be, so that means that the nitrogen would be a one. And then the oxygen is going to be 4 over 2 and 9 fourteenths. So it's it's not quite 2, right? Does, does everyone agree that nitrogen would be 1 and oxygen would not quite be 2? Yes? Okay, so if I go if I go to the test again, let me do the screenshot change. Screen share, I mean. And... I look at number three. That means that my answer is not A, right? Because it because the because the number for oxygen has to be larger. That one's wrong. It's not one to one, so it can't be B. I know that it can't be C because it's not double. So my best guess is the closest. I mean, there's it has to be D. So you can see from both D, uh, number three and number four. You have to do a little process of elimination. Depending on how you rounded it, couldn't you get C though? You would have to do some serious rounding. Okay. Because since it's not exactly double, like two and nine fourteenths, like nine fourteenths is pretty big. So, I mean, even if you, because it's closer to like four over two and a half. 
So if you multiplied, because 9 fourteenths is, is over, it's larger than 7 fourteenths. So it would be, let's say you even made it two and a half and you doubled it, that means you would have, what is that, eight on eight on top and five on bottom. I, you know, I just you're gonna you're gonna end up with a numbers that do not match up nicely with the n over or no two. Okay. So you can only round it if you if you've got some pretty small like less than point one. All right. So, um, other questions. Can we do number nine? Yeah, yes. I, I would be delighted. Man, I was just gonna ask that. Okay. So number nine, you have uh, potassium nitrate and mixed with a small amount of impurity. It was found that the overall sample consisted of twenty percent potassium by mass. What was the appropriate per approximate percentage of KNO three in the sample? Okay. So whatever percentage of potassium is going to be, like however many moles of, of potassium are in the sample, that's how many moles of NO3 are going to be there. You're going to add them all together. So let me uh, shift over again. Okay, go another screen over. All right, so we had KNO3, and it said its molar mass was 101. Is that right? Yeah. Um, it did, yeah. Thanks for mole. Okay, and we had 20%, we had for 20% potassium, and again, if we change it to, we want to change it to grams. So grams. Y grams. Anytime we have percent mass and we need to find moles, we're gonna have to change it to grams. Like treat it out. Of, it's out of a, a hundred per or a hundred grams. So if it's a hundred percent, you can just change it to a hundred grams, and then you um, you can get the number of moles from that. And uh, potassium. Oops. Potassium. What was it? Thirty nine point one. Yeah. Okay. 39.10, which is pretty close to 40. That's that's about 0.1 away. So we can say, or actually that's 0.9 away, but we can say that that's pretty darn close to one half. So, and this was, I guess we should include units, grams per mole. So that's like half a mole. All right? And then um, that means if we have half a mole potassium, we have half a mole of the half a mole of the whole potassium nitrate itself. Let me look back at the question again. What was the approximate percentage of can? Okay. So if we have 101 grams per mole and we have half a mole of the whole thing, that's like half the half the one hundred one, right? So that would be about fifty two percent. About yeah, you could say. Well, I was just gonna say it's about fifty grams or so. And um, so the the one that's closest to the the one that's closest to fifty grams. So so if I said okay, so if I said that it was fifty grams. Which again, if it's out of, if, if we're talking about percentage, the 100% equals 100 grams, that would be about 50% of my sample. So, um, well, let me go back to screen share. So I got 
and I go back and I look at the test and 52% is closest to my answer so that's the answer so because so what did we just find then we found we found the percentage of the percentage of the overall sample that was KNO3 so let me draw a picture for this um Whenever they're doing these questions, they're saying, okay, so you have you have this this sample. Okay? And they're saying how much of this sample is what you're looking for? And so in our case, they said that this 20% right here, this was just the potassium. So, and that was equal to 20%. So we know the we know the ratio that K is a part of NO3. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. For every one K, we have one NO3 as a as a sample. We know that if K NO3 dissociates, we're gonna get one K plus one. So that makes sense? Yeah. So when we do this, we'd say, oh, it's if it's 20% for K then that means it has to be 20% NO3, which means that we can then figure out how many moles is that of the, how many moles of, of K are there? Well, we, there's half a mole, which means that there's half a mole of the entire molecule. So if we take half a mole of the entire molecule, that gives us 50 grams. Since we said that 20% was equal to 20 grams, then 50 grams must be equal to 50%. And that means that the rest of this was the NO3. So altogether, the KNO3 was all of, of that half. Okay, so what I'm confused about is that the molar mass that it gives, the 101 grams per mole, if you add up KNO3, mm -hmm. it equals 101. Why is that confusing? Because I feel like if there's an impurity, that it would be different. Oh, that the the sample is this is all this is a bunch of other stuff that's not KNO3. The KNO3 is just this side right here. Oh, okay. It was mixed. Yeah, it's all mixed up. There could be carbon over here and there could be uh, more other like what else would there be? Whatever they want to make this other stuff. Mm -hmm. Iron, maybe a, a sulfate or something like that. They want to know. It's it's just partly KNO3. What's what is that what if you added it all together, figured it out, what part is just the potassium nitrate? Okay, that makes sense. Okay. okay. Good. Alright. You guys had another question on the test? Um, I don't have one. Yes. I mean, get your best answer and then look at it and then look at my process of elimination. Does that work or not? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. There'll be, there'll be one, two, maybe two or three of those on the test. And then some of the other ones will work out pretty, pretty neatly and nicely. So you won't have to do much estimation. <laughs> How about number 10 on the test? Do you guys see this? Did this cause problems for you guys? I don't know if that right. It was really easy. I accidentally solved for moles instead of grams. I didn't even look at the grams. Oh. It's just a ratio. Right. Yeah. And then we did the grams. Right. So if you had the, if you, so this is two, but you really had six, so you had to multiply it by three. So then you need to figure out if you multiply this times three, you'd get nine. And then nine times you. <laughs> nine times two point oh two is eighteen. That makes sense. Good. Any other questions or 
Are there other questions on the test or even the practice test? Um, Wait, did we get a practice test? Yeah, that was from before the, the test. Here, I'll, um, do you guys want me? Here, I'll show it to you. What does the lab redo do? Um, oh, I forgot about the redo. Um, that should be, that should, uh, I think, oh, no, no, I said I was going to be due the same time, the same time as when the, when the lab is due for the gravimetric analysis. So you have some time to complete that. Got it. Here we go. When, the, when are all three of those labs due? I, we haven't figured out yet. This is the first time I've done the gravimetric analysis lab, so I don't know how long it's going to take us, so I can't give you a date yet. Okay. So are they all due together? Yes. Well, okay. yes, that's correct. Is that Friday? No, not Friday. Oh. It's due in the next week or two. I, I really want to, I want to get, I want to try this lab. This is like all this new stuff that AP is pushing, all that College Board is pushing is is in this lab this is what it's supposed to all be about and so i really want us to take some time and give this our best shot and see how we like it and see what we need to change but this is the first time i've done it so i don't want to um have a hard date on it yet because i have no idea how long it's going to take okay so all three of the labs are unknown due dates. that's correct okay and that includes the redox titration lab that's correct okay it's not going to be one Friday. Okay, okay. That makes you feel so much better. Oh, good. So right now it's just the test practice and then the other test. Right. The worksheet. The worksheet. Okay. And the worksheet. Okay, awesome. Because those, the tests are the things that are going to, they affect your grade more. And so I'd like you to not have too much to do right now. Plus last week was not conducive to getting anything done. The worksheet. So this is the practice test. Did you, do you guys recognize it? Are there questions on this? Of course, you guys did this with a calculator, I assume, judging by the responses I got at the test. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, your your verbal responses, not the. So you guys should go back and do the practice test without without your calculator and see if you can do it and see how it would go. I think because all the practice that we did, we used the calculator, so we were so used to using the calculator that like we didn't know how to do it again. Right. Like, oh, okay. So yeah. you need to do it. You need to go back and do it again without a calculator. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What worksheets? What worksheets did Monday that you were talking about? S say that again, Lexi. What worksheet is you on Wednesday? The one that you were talking. You said the worksheet you on Wednesday. Oh, my best. Best. 5S will probably be due on the Friday. But I want you guys to, it would be awesome if you guys could have it done so that we could work on that and answer questions in addition to the lab stuff we'll be doing. Okay, because I have a bunch of questions on it. I just want to make sure it wasn't due on Wednesday. So the right. pre-lab for the lab makes Everything, you want to... Everything, you know, on, the bottom lab is on Okay. So I would work on that. Nothing to think of. Is it Wednesday? Yeah. I don't think there's anything really due on Wednesday. Not Right. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Thank you so much for Sure. Okay. So it's not like it's not on the same day. 6.30, right? So there we Yes, 6.30. Okay. 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 Burn any, like, um, Werner? Yes. Can you put the um, document you were looking at where it showed, like, the answers to the test and how to get them on Schoology? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I thought those were up on Schoology. They're not? Uh, it may be. I can, I can take a look. If they're not there, I will absolutely put them up there. Let me see if... That would be so helpful. Yeah. Seven words. Yeah. yeah, because if there was more water, it wasn't all burned off. Yeah. Because the percentage is... <laughs> okay. How come I didn't know about that earlier? Does anybody want a pumpkin muffin? <laughs> <laughs>
They're really good. So the unit practice test is online. Oh, hey Nick. Yeah. I'm I am I I don't want to put the actual unit test key online because that's something that I want you guys to have to work out and then come in and ask me questions. But the practice okay. test and the practice test key are both online. Okay. What? Am I missing something? What are you guys doing on there? Amanda is Why did they get muted? What? Did somebody somebody got muted? Yes. <laughs> Number seven on the retake? Oh, the actual test. Okay, let me go back and. Okay. The how many carbon atoms are contained in? This one right here? What? Uh-oh. No, not the practice test, the actual test. Yeah. Oh, okay. Why did Julia leave the group? Julia just left. Oh, Oops. Oops. Oh, Julia just left. Hopefully she'll come back. She's just really lost in my notebook. They got distracted by their muffins. Oh, she's not. Okay. We missed you. That's it. Oops, I did it wrong again. Oh, nice. Welcome back, Julia and company. All right, so we're looking at the actual unit test. There we go. Number seven. Number seven. Oh, okay. A student performs an experiment to find the percentage of water in a hydrate. He determines that the hydrate contains 22% water, but the teacher tells him that it actually contains 40% water. What error may have caused him to attain this low value? Okay. So, let me see. I, I might be able to write something out for this. Because we're thinking if it has more water, then shouldn't the percentage be higher? Yeah. Well, let's take a look. Okay, let's go to the next page. All right, so we have okay. now the student said that it was twenty percent water, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oops. So. Whatever. I'm doing this wrong again. Okay. Twenty percent H two O, which means that if you had and the true value was forty percent water. Okay. So what I would say is that um, is that if you're trying to figure this out, you have uh, let's say you have two grams of of sample to start with. And you heat it off and you get down to, my numbers aren't going to match up exactly, but you get down to like 1.5 grams. So now you have 0 0.5 of the total, oops, of the total of 2 grams was water, right? That was water over the total. So 0 0.5 over 2, what is that, like 25%, right? Yeah. And if you did two grams of water and you heated it and you got down to one gram, then that means it would be one gram over two grams, which would be equal to 50%. So basically what it says here, like... Hey guys, what happened here? So... Can you guys hear? Oh, cool. Can so, you? I mean, just, like in this question where he says like twenty-two percent, that's just how much it costs. Yeah. 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 So I can kind of hear. So when they say the when 
there's obviously not all the water was heated off of this. So, I mean, it, you have to mathematically think about it, not from the perspective of more water. You know, if you, you lose more water or you lose less water, you would have more left over. It's all about how much water it is versus how much of your sample is left. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, how much I give is, like, what was lost. Right. So that's why this answer is the correct answer. Oh. Why, uh, here, I'll circle. I'm going to show this picture about my mouth. Oh my god, that's so cool. Okay. Alright. Okay. Pretty good? Okay, so what, what other questions do you guys have? Okay, because you guys can ask me that in class. Yeah. Um, I also have I have a lab notebook that has the sample calculations in it from when I did it. It was a slightly different lab, but the way the calculations were performed is the same. So you guys can always look at that to get some hints. Oh no, what's the thing? Imagine Caitlin had a question on number two. I think. All right, was that number on the test or the practice test? And we can and we can type it up in here. Do you guys, is there a question? Yeah, number two on the test. On the, okay. Free response or normal? So, was that this one right here, the 27 grams of the unknown hydrocarbon? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And 27 grams, 88 grams of carbon dioxide, and 27 grams of water. What is the possible molecular formula for the hydrocarbon? Oh, this one. Okay. Oh, I saw it. Okay. So we had an unknown hydrocarbon, so we know it was just CH plus the O2 yields CO2 plus H2. Okay. So, I think it said it was 27 grams here. Gave us 88 grams and 27 grams. Oops. Hey guys, um, be careful how much talk in there is. It's hard for me to hear all the questions. Okay. All right, so if we do this, we have 88 grams divided by carbon dioxide is 44.01, whatever. So you guys kind of get a feel for that. So you know that 88 over 44 means that you're going to have about two moles. Two moles of the CO2. So we know this is at least a two right here. The 27 grams is going to be divided by the 18. So really, that's 
what is that? Three over two, right? So now this one's going to be a three over two. Um, so you know you have at least at least two carbons, and you know that you have at least three hydrogens. Oops, I should put right here, right? If I delete or erase this, I'm sorry. Okay, so with that being said, you know that the formula has to be at least this. Um, does that make sense? Because you had, if you if you had two moles of carbon, because you if you because you had the four, eighty eight grams of forty four, so that's at least two of that, and that for the twenty seven grams you had at least three halves. So that so that way you had three halves times two gives you the three. So Mr. it's at least. Warner, we can't hear you. You can't hear me. Yeah. You're like echoing over yourself. We hear you twice, like on top of. Oh. I turned down my volume a little bit. Does that help? Yeah. Okay. So you had the um, 88 grams divided by the 44 grams gave you two moles of carbon dioxide, which meant you had at least two moles of carbon in your original sample. You had the 27 grams of the water divided by 18 means that you have three halves moles of the water. Three halves times... The H2O means that you have at least three moles of hydrogen that had to come from the hydrocarbon, the original sample. So your formula has to at least be a C2H3, which means that it's, it's got to be some multiple of this. So if we go back to the tests, let's see. Uh, there we go. Oops. What are you guys doing? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. So it had to be a sum multiple of C2H3, which means that the answer had to be C. So... Caitlin and Amanda, do you guys see how that happened? Yeah, yeah. Nick, are you break dancing? Sure. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yes. Lotus. You guys are cracking me up. Here, I'll do it too. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, we're, oh, there's Ellery's hands. Um, so do you guys have any questions? Which, which number on the test? We're good. Oh, we're good. Oh, you're good. Okay. Yeah, we're good too. If you guys are good, yeah. Okay, so what I'll do then is in a second, I'm going to stop this recording and I'm going to try to do the whole uh, loaded up to YouTube. And then tomorrow night, I'll. What? I know, but we're going to we're gonna go around that because. Uh, because you, because that's that's the Google Hangout thing. Do you guys put yourselves on YouTube all the time, right? No. 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 Against the rules. It's not okay in the Google Hangout, but. AP Chem doesn't play with rules. That's right. We're rebellious. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna try that, and then I'll do the same thing for tomorrow night's group. West Side. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. 
So, <laughs> yeah, bring it, drop it. Mm, I saw that. Okay, I think we lost. I think we lost Sneha and all them. Um, so I'm gonna try to record it. Oh, here they come back. All right. So we're, I'm gonna put it up, and then tomorrow night I'm gonna do the same thing. But of course, tomorrow night is gonna end at ten. So I don't know if it's gonna. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to load it up. So I don't want you guys staying up till midnight to see tomorrow nights. So I might have to start doing these like a day or so earlier if I want to be able to get them up. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're good for now. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Okay. Wait, do West Side again. West Side. Mmm. Okay. I'm probably gonna trim the stuff at the beginning and the end off. The <laughs> final video. Okay, I'll keep so. I'll keep it. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, you guys. Good job. Email me if you have any questions. I'll be at school all day tomorrow, but I'm in meetings, but I'll be checking my email. Okay. Okay. Say that one more time. 6:30 for the retake. Yes. All right. 6:30. Bye, Nick. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. AP Ken Sun's out. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. See ya.